So, um, last time we talked about the formation of a simple ionic compound, uh, sodium chloride. Um, this time, let's uh, continue that and let's look at a few more, um, what you might call complicated uh, situations, but really not that much more complicated. Um, uh, so again, the idea is here is that ions are atoms are becoming stable by losing and gaining electrons in order to have the same number of electrons as noble gases. Again, the noble gases are our benchmark of stability over here, and therefore our driving force for transferring your electrons is atoms losing or gaining electrons to have, end up with the same number of electrons as um, the noble gases. So uh, let's suppose we have magnesium. Again, magnesium, a metal, on the left-hand side of the periodic table. Magnesium is in column two, the alkaline earth column. It has two valence electrons, okay? Two valence electrons. So we'll show those using Lowe's dot structure. Um, and uh, let's look at chlorine. We looked at chlorine last time. Chlorine sits over here. It has seven valence electrons. Again, it's in column 17. It has seven valence electrons. Um, so again, um, these atoms bump into each other, and as they bump into each other, the situation is such that magnesium is looking to unload two electrons. Chlorine is looking to pick up one electron. So this appears to be a mismatch. Magnesium wants to lose two, needs to lose two. Um, chlorine can only gain one, but there's no reason we can't bring another chlorine into the game here. Lots of atoms out there. So we imagine that there's another chlorine close by. Magnesium looks at the world and says, aha, this is a perfect situation. Um, Magnesium now comes along and says, sure, I will take my two valence electrons and I'll give one to this chlorine and give one to this chlorine. And in the process of doing that, a neat transformation happens. The magnesium atom loses its two valence electrons, becomes a magnesium ion with a plus two charge. Again, notice that we chemists um, have a tendency to put the uh, magnitude of the charge first and the sign of the charge second, okay? Um, chlorine, in picking up, each chlorine picking up an electron becomes a chloride ion with a negative charge. Okay. So gains each chlorine gains one electron, uh, becomes negatively charged. The beauty of these ions is all of these ions are isoelectronic with noble gases. If we go back and look at the periodic table, Magnesium has lost two, and so magnesium now has 10, a magnesium ion, a magnesium plus two ion, now has 10 electrons, which makes it isoelectronic with neon. 10 electrons, isoelectronic, and remember that word means same number of electrons, isoelectronic with neon, and in other words, that means it's stable. Neon is stable. Magnesium plus two ion is stable. Each of these chlorines over here, on the other hand, uh, has what? Well, they've picked up one electron, so each chlorine started out with 17 electrons. Picking up one gives each chlorine the magic number of 18, so each of these, each has 18 electrons. Each is isoelectronic with argon also noble gas. In other words, these ions are also stable. So in transferring that pair of electrons from a magnesium atom to two separate chlorine atoms, we have created three very stable ions. Okay. Um, again, now we look at the situation. We say, wait a minute. We've even got more things going on here. Um, because those that magnesium is plus two charged, and the chlorines have a minus one charge. Opposite charges attract each other, and these three ions are pulled together to make a stable ionic compound, which, not surprisingly, has the formula MgCl2. Okay, and that compound is called magnesium chloride. So, important lesson here is that the transfer of electrons does not have to happen atom to atom. One atom can donate multiple electrons to two separate atoms, as we saw here. Magnesium can give 
one electron to one chlorine and one electron to another chlorine. So formulas of ionic compounds okay, will show the result of that transfer. In this case, we ended up with three atoms, one magnesium ion with a plus two charge, two chloride ions with a minus one charge, and we have come up with a stable compound, magnesium chloride. All right. In the next session, we'll do an even more complicated example, but not very much more so. Good.